And we're now going to talk about Puzzle Mania. We had a nice tweet from the uh, New York Times puzzle folks uh, who, uh, it's called New York Times Wordplay. And they said that uh, while you're doing the uh, puzzles, uh, maybe you could listen in. Uh, while you're solving Puzzle Mania 2020, I hope you tune in to Sri's New York Times read along. So how cool is that, uh, that they, they gave us a, a, a shout out. So Neil, tell us about Puzzle Mania. Absolutely, Puzzle Mania is an annual feature put out by the uh, New York Times and edited by Will Shorts, uh, the great uh, puzzle editor at the Times. They actually did a special edition earlier in uh, the year. I think it was, I'm guessing June. Um, they usually do this once a year in December, but in the middle of COVID, they put out a special edition earlier. Um, but just look at this uh, you know, full uh, uh, treatment uh, not just it's not just about crosswords, uh, folks. Uh, they're building blocks, and um, uh, it's called a what? The you call the shots. This is a great pairing with the year in photos. Guess the year in which the following fourteen iconic photographs were taken, uh, and when you're done, uh, the, you can find the answers. Add the total number of years um, by which you were off, and use the rating system below to see how well you called the shots. Uh, I'm going to challenge our friend Stephen Kaplan right now. I'd love to see your your answers on this and see how well you do. Stephen, take the quiz and uh, get back to us. And if you need the um, need me to send you the image, let me know. Um, of course, anyone else can play that game as well. Split decisions, 3D word hunt. I've never seen that before. Um, look closely. This is can you identify these objects from their close-ups? Um, just all sort. I mean, and then you have a super mega crossword. Oh my god! <laughs> That's you know there are five, there are how many six hundred clues up and down across and down, which is pretty impressive. My understanding. I used to do crossword tree, and I used to used to be able to get through Monday and occasionally get through Tuesday. My understanding, I think it's, uh, and please, someone will correct me, I'm sure, in the comments, that um, I think it's Saturday is the hardest uh, puzzle. Uh, Sunday is bigger, but not as hard. It's just more volume. Uh, I'd love for someone to uh, clarify that, uh, who is a regular regular crossword puzzler. Um, here is a, a, some more, a few more puzzles. There's a Christmas tradition, a picture quiz show. Mergers and acquisitions. Um, corporate identities identities have been mashed together. Can you identify the two individual companies in each of the logos below? Their names I see are Apple and Target. I Apple see. and Target, right? Uh, and NBC and uh, and Shell. Uh, and I'm going to guess. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about some of these. This is a Foot Locker and something. But what's interesting is they also have the names anagrammed. In the in the bottom, if you look closely, so that's like this is the yeah. Apple and Target. Uh, that's going to be UPS and General Mills right there in the top right. Uh, Mastercard. This is this will keep you busy for a while. Amazon and IKEA is my guess in the bottom right here. Right. Nice, good guess. Yeah, that, that's that's fun. Here are the clues for the that big puzzle. And then the answers. We don't want to show the answers just yet. The the fun part about the about Puzzle Mania, folks, only available in the print edition. It's not available online. Uh, so this is one of those specials that the New York Times pulls out for its subscribers. And uh, I know that our friend Paula is uh, a little bit sad right now. She can't share a link to it. Um, but that's uh, one of the reasons. And, and Pradnya as a new subscriber, uh, we'll be able to uh, enjoy special features like this going forward. Um, Neil, Thank you, Neil. We have a Neil, question. Neil, for, there's sorry, a column by Will Shorts uh, on WKXR every Sunday morning. Will Shorts of the New York Times does the radio. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and Will, I, I do want to mention that Will has a, uh, a, a tennis, a, a table tennis center in Pleasantville, New York. Um, that uh, he runs, uh, and uh, you know, we I've, we've talked to him about. We actually were talking about doing a show from there in the spring, 
before COVID struck. We were talking in February uh, about going there in person, and then everything, of course, shut down. Uh, but hopefully, uh, if things open up, we'll have a chance to, to visit with him uh, in a post-pandemic world.